welcome to worship. We are so lucky to be here. We are so fortunate. And it's lovely to see all your lovely faces. And any visitors, you have a very warm welcome. I know there is one lady here, and that's Laura too. Laura is sitting back there, aren't you, Laura? <laughs> welcome to you, Laura. <laughs> We hope you enjoy the service. We will have coffee in the lounge afterwards, um, but um, today, sorry, in the hall, not the lounge, uh, but today's a very special day because it's the Sandy Club anniversary and all our children are terribly excited uh, because they're going for a picnic over at the wreck. And so please come and join with lovely children and uh, bring a Bring some food, blanket, and chairs so that you can have a wonderful time together. Just to let you know, don't forget the shoe box. It's everything at the back. And if you'd like to see Jill, who's sitting over there, Jill, you can put your hand up. Any more that you want to find out, please see Jill. She's more than happy because Jill's organising all this. Thank you, Jill. And um, that's it. The harvest supper announcement that there is a flip chart in the foyer of the church and if whatever food you want to put down please put it down with your name and also if you're going to do this please put your name on the other list that's if you're attending so you have to do two lists if you're doing food and if you're attending so that's that and it's on the 1st of October in the hall, 5pm, and everybody is very, very welcome. This is such a joyous event for us all. Um, and also, I'd like to say a quick big thank you. This is most beautiful cake there, baked by Angela for the Sandy Club. So well done, Angela, and thank you very much. And now I'd like to just um, hand you over to Abigail. Abigail's got a few words to say to you. <laughs> Hello, so Saturday is the um, Suffolk Historic Church sponsored bike ride again and if anyone would like to sponsor us I have the sponsor form here. We also have a Just Giving page online and you can find the link in the connect or you can just search for Abigail Britton on Just Giving and you should be able to find it. So we will be out next Saturday between 9 and 5 cycling as a family as we've done for the last few years and yeah last year we were the um the family in the clare district that raised the most money so we would really really like your support to try and achieve something close to that again so anyone who wants to come and um, sponsor us come and find me after the service or our just just giving pages online and you can do it through that thank you thank you abigail and now can i call sonia oh, sonia has some nice exciting news to tell you <laughs> Just want to invite you to come and sing this evening. Starts again after the holidays, 6 30 here in the church through the orange door. Anybody who would like to sing with me. And um, faithful workout exercise starts tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the hall, also through this orange door. So you're very, very welcome to join us. Thank you, Sonia. And now I'd like to pass you on to our minister, Reverend Peter Brutal, to lead us in service today. Thank you. Our old age worship service. Sorry. Thank you, Peter. Good morning, friends. Good morning. And welcome in church and to those watching our recording of the service later at home. A very warm welcome to you all. It's a new day, it's the first Sunday of a new month, uh, and a new term, and a new Methodist year. It was with great sadness this week that we learnt the news that one of our dear friends, Gwen Bowers, uh, passed away peacefully in hospital. Gwen was a great friend to us and to this church and I think she had perhaps the longest established connection with this Methodist church going back generations and her grandfather's home was on this very site. Um, 
um, before these buildings were here. So we remember Gwen today, we give thanks for her life, and we remember Gwen's family and friends who miss her day dearly, and ask that they will know God's peace and comfort today. And as I came into church today, um, we heard news of another family member who passed away, Phil and Shirley's sister Hilda. And Phil's just going to tell us a little bit more and about something special that you brought today. No. <laughs> well, our condolences to you. Thank you. It's a sad time, but she was happy in her world, and that's what matters more than anything. But the most poignant thing was, it's Thanksgiving's day, the anniversary, and her daughter was going through some of her bits and bobs on Wednesday, and what she she come across, but her mum's prize, prize, son's school prizes. And this one was for first class attendance in 1947. And I just wanted the children to know that in those days we still had prize given. And I see the prize is for fair and sixpence. And when you look back in 1947, 75 years ago, it must have been quite a bit of money, fair and sixpence. But she did she deserved it, you know. So you treasure your Sunday school prizes. And then in years to come, when sadly you leave and your family can see and get comfort from this, you know, and we had comfort from coming to the Sunday school all those years ago when it was the back here beside the pig size. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but we will always remember her naturally as we do, but she had her, she got well looked after and she went as peacefully as anybody could. Yes, in the living arms of our Lord. Yes, now. oh definitely, and like I said, and these memories of her young child who have been brought up yeah. in the Methodist home. Yeah, and you. that's why I wanted to bring it along, <laughs> and that just because of it being prize given today. And that's so appropriate, and I wonder whether, before you take it home today, whether we could put it with our books uh -huh. on the table. Oh, Shall yeah. we do that? Oh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Anywhere? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, then. Thank you very much. Bless you. Bless you. Well, on this day of endings and beginnings, new beginnings, we read in the book of Revelation how Jesus, seated on the throne, said, Look, I am making all things new. I am making all things new. And we pray that we may be filled with that new life today. Let's give ourselves afresh to him at the start of this new season. Well, Helen is now going to come forward and bring us our opening sentences. We welcome you to our Sunday Club anniversary. We are glad you, that you came. We hope you enjoy this day of celebration. We are going to begin our service with a song of praise to God. So, as you are able, please do stand as we worship God and let the praise rise from our hearts.
isn't it great to have our young people sharing in our worship group today? Thank you. Lissa's going to come and lead us in our prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. God who made all things, be here with us now. God who loves us just as we are, be here with us now. God who entered the world as a child to live, to learn, and to grow as we do, be here with us now. God who brings us happiness and guides us by your spirit, be here with us now. Amen. Amen. Over the summer, our young people have been hearing about the story of Joseph in the Old Testament. And as we begin our roundup of what they've been up to and the things that they're going to share with us, we're going to just hear a recap very briefly of the story of Joseph's life, the highs and the lows, as we watch a video song to listen to the story of Joseph. <laughs> 